Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing okay out there. Today we are going to be doing a pixie maintenance kind of video, okay? I've had my hair cut um, three weeks ago, so I'm three weeks post relaxer as you see me. And I like to refresh my hair maybe like once a week, okay? So we're going to start off by washing our hair. I normally like to use either the cream of nature argan oil shampoo or the bread hair wash either one works for me so just go in and wash that and then i am going to use shea butters sorry shea moisture's jamaican black castor oil as my um, leave-in conditioner i actually deep condition every single week so i'm going to tie that up with some cling film and actually use a headscarf on top just to get that added heat in there so you know i can really deep condition this hair um mainly because it's now relaxed and also because I'm going to use heat on it I want to make sure that I am doing my hair justice also it's so important for me to use sulfate free shampoos I don't want my hair to be left dry because I don't want my hair to break off more than anything so everything needs to be super moisturizing super hydrating and of course with this tutorial I'm still learning how to do my hair as a pixie girl now but these are the things that I think are working really well for me so once you've let your deep conditioner do what it needs to do, I actually wash it out and then I follow up with Plant Maid's Drizzle. It's a nice light moisturising spray. You don't want to put anything in your hair that's too heavy. Otherwise your hair just won't do what it needs to do. We're prepping our hair for the mould, for the direction of how our hair is supposed to lay on our head for the next week or so. So I used the Affirm Cares Hair Wrap Lotion. It's one of the best I've used. This is not my first time in Pixie Land, but one of the best, okay? Um, you're then going to also need a brush, a fine tooth comb, you're also going to need some rapid strips, I got these from my hair shop, and then you're going to need a portable hood dryer, and that's also very important, I found mine off Amazon. So then I'm going to take the foam wrap lotion, and when I say guys, I am so generous with this, I use so much, so much, use as much as you need, okay? <laughs> I personally think that if I don't, if I'm not generous with my foam wrap lotion, I then find it hard to um, get my mold in place. And what I've also realised as my relaxers growing out, um, I actually need a lot more um, foam wrap lotion in order to lay my hair the way I want it to lay. So I'm just going to take my fine, fine tooth comb and then I'm going to start um, laying my hair in the direction I would like for it to sit in. Um, when my hairdresser was doing my hair for the first time, I actually watched her to see how she actually lays my head my hair sorry so I'm just emulating more or less the same thing I mean I, I won't be as great as her um but we're, we're making it do what it do okay so I'm just going to take a mirror so I can see where my part is supposed to be and that's what you can see me doing right here I want to make sure my part is nice and straight um your mirror is going to be your best friend <laughs> when it comes to styling your pixie because without it you cannot see the back so here's me again once again being ultra generous with my foam wrap lotion i'm just adding it to the front and then i'm going to take my brush my brush is actually quite hard um and then i'm going to use it to brush my hair down brush it in place um and then i'm going to go back in with my fine tooth comb and then i'm going to actually begin waving it we're not at that stage just yet but you can see me i'm really being intentional with how i am you know almost slicking my hair down into place of course, I'm using my fine tooth comb to also find my parting. My pixie actually doesn't have a parting, but make sure you are happy because once this is set, that is it. So I'm just going to take my fine tooth comb and I'm almost um, doing mini finger waves on my head. Um, like I said, this is not my first time in pixie land, um, but I remember when I had my pixie a long time ago in Bethlehem. I actually learned how to do like the finger waving back then so it's almost as if you're doing a C with your comb I can't explain it so I'm using like my fingers to hold down the wave I've already done and then I'm combing in a um, in a C motion as you can see here once the hair is getting dry you can add more wrap lotion to it and that will give you the flexibility you need with your hair to move it in the direction you'd like to move it in um, that I find that's what helps me so I'm just trying to get this wave together um, you want to make sure that you're doing this so that once your hair completely dries down you can curl your hair in the direction of the waves in which you have set them in 
if that makes sense. So because I can see where the waves are, I know where I'm supposed to curl my hair and I know where the direction, what direction my curls are also supposed to be in. So I'm just going to take my wrap strips and I'm going to cover my head. Every single last portion of your head needs to be covered. So I'm putting some at the back, I'm putting some at the front, I'm going to put some at the top of my head, I'm going to put some at the, uh, like the middle of my head. As many strips as it takes, that's as many as we are going to use. So once you're satisfied with where your wrap strips are, I'm going to take my portable hood dryer and then I am going to strap myself in. Um, you actually need this. If you don't have a portable hood dryer and you've got a pixie style, good luck to you <laughs> because it's going to take forever for your pixie to be dry. This took me about 20 minutes. 20 minutes for it to be dried. Exactly. Exactly. So I'm just going to take off my wax strips and as you can see, my hair looks so shiny. It's already in place. And I'm then going to take the Affirm Care um, Laminate Spray and I'm going to spray my hair with this. This gives it a nice sheen, but it's also um, to protect my hair against heat damage. I'm then going to take my fine tooth comb and I'm kind of going to um, brush my mold out a little bit. Um, what I wish I actually had done is also put a little bit of wax in my hair um, so that when I'm straightening it, it's, it straightens nicely, in other words. You'll see what I mean. Um, I'm also going to take my pencil straighteners that I got from Amazon and then some clips um, to help section off my hair. And then I'm going to start sectioning it off, sectioning it off. Um, and I'm going to start at the back. So with your pencil straighteners, I'm actually like curling it into, into my head, if that makes sense. As you can see, as I'm doing, I'm curling it towards my head. And that's how I get that nice little bump. Um, I like to check with my mirrors to make sure everything's okay. I don't expect it to be perfect, but it just needs to look decent, you know? It needs to look good enough for me to leave my house. So I'm going to follow that all the way around. The middle part of my head is where I curl my hair in the direction um towards my face if that makes sense so i'm curling it forwards but also a little bit to the side basically the direction in which you have set your hair just follow the direction of where your hair is okay which is why your mold is so important if you don't set your mold if you don't set your hair properly or in the direction you want it to go um then you're going to find it a lot difficult when you are curling your hair straightening it in other words um, so I do a little bit of the back, I do the sides and then I start at the front again and then I'm just doing the same motion of curling to get my mini pink curls. Yes. So general advice for when you're curling your hair to get these pink curls. Um, you're curling your hair, so for example, if you want your hair to go that way, yeah? You're going to curl it in the opposite direction look so you're curling it in the opposite direction because we actually want it to lay in the opposite direction so that way when we lay it flat it sits properly i'm just going to brush my back and my sides down i'm then going to take the care care wax stick and i'm going to apply that to my back and sides this is just to lay any flyaways or any hairs that are standing strong honey i'm also going to lay it at the top for the same reason I then will take the Cream of Nature's um, edge gel in the colour black. My hairdresser used this and guys, it makes my edges look so full. It makes my sideburns look so thick. It's a game changer. It adds that little bit of je ne sais quoi to my hair and I'm not mad at it at all. Um, I'm then going to, you know, just make sure I'm happy with everything because I'm about to lay a headscarf on top. And I'm going to lay my headscarf for about 20 to half an hour um, because sometimes I feel like it's a bit, hmm, it's, it's standing up strong. But you don't want to tie it too tight. Exactly, not too tight. And I'm going to take it off and then give my hair a good zhuzh of the laminate spray for that shine, for that sheen. And and that's basically it guys that's how i maintain my pony my ponytail my pixie <laughs> um it will be interesting to see what my hair looks like six weeks post relaxer and how actually my routine changes but as for now this is what works i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time for another video bye